Hey guys, this is Andrew with Gamers Rejoice. I've got a nice template on sale here for you. It's an interactive children's book template. Um, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, I don't want to make a children's book, but there's a lot of different uses you could use for this um, to maybe even just tell a story in a fun way for your game. So so don't, don't write this off so quickly. Um, let me kind of just run you through it real quick. I'll turn the music off for this uh, video. But I have three, three different ways to read the book. Read it to myself, read to me, and autoplay. Autoplay will just quickly cycle through the scenes automatically on, on a timer that you can quickly and easily set up for each scene. Uh, read to me will uh, play audio that you can insert. I've put notes where you would want to put the uh, sound files and read it to myself. You can just take your time. Let's do that. And as you can see, I just uh, will, I'll show you that more. The page turns. Um, this is kind of a nod to old books that I used to read when I was little. So you can write your name in it and it's just kind of fun. And it'll save that automatically. So you can peel, you can peel the page from the right or left. If you, if you want to go forward, you peel from the right and it, it's on an offset, so um, it gives it a pretty cool effect. And I'm only using one image for both sides, and it gives the cool effect that you're peeling the page from the side. And it doesn't turn the page until you get to a certain point, and then it will animate across and go to the next scene. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is my story. It's all using text, um, display text for Game Salad. Uh, no images on the text, and uh, I made it interactive so you can click on things and it says what it is. And if you were in a certain mode, it would play the audio too, ideally. And then you can keep turning the page. And if you want to go back, pull from the left side, forward from the right. And this is just a simple story I made for this template. Don't take it too seriously, and I also copyrighted all this artwork, so you can't uh, be stupid and just upload this to the App Store, sorry. But uh, I think this will give you a very good starting point on your story, or even if you're just making a story for your game, it'd be a cool interactive way to uh, flip through your, your story. So... Um, let me show you how easy it is to uh, update this on the uh, on the page itself this is kind of what it looks like you have your background image and then you have your display text for the the book and then you'll see all these little orange boxes that's the touch area I've called it and then up here you have a pop-up word and, and all it's doing is when you touch this is it's a uh, uh, moving the pop-up word to go over it. So it's really cool. You only have to use one actor. I'll show you. I'll delete these for now. You just drag the touch actor over here and place it over the area you want and go into it and in in the self attributes you can just name it. So this is face. <laughs> and then we'll just copy that one. drag it down and this is a hat and it's really that simple guys all you have to do is click on it now and it shows up and then down here I have this little green box that's a way for you to quickly set the autoplay timer over here in the attributes so if it's a if there aren't very many words on it or not very many pictures you could set the time for less but I have it set for six per scene so it's really easy to edit, and over on the left and right are these um, page images I use to animate across. And it's really lightweight. It's not um, intensive on the on Game Salad. Um, the last thing I wanted to say was that I've made this for um, iPad and iPhone in both landscape and portrait. So you can start. You can use it for whichever kind of project you're using it for. And so it'll be really useful that way. Um, anyway, I, I hope you like it. It's a pretty cool template. I'm 
excited to use it for my my story and I hope you like it too. Thanks.